Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this purple smoky eye for you. It's going to look great no matter what eye color you have. It's especially going to bring out the hazel and brown colored eyes. If you want to see how to get this, then just keep watching. I am priming my eyes with Micabella's Eye Primer using Sheer Covers Concealer Brush. I am first tapping that onto my eyelid and then blending it out with my finger. Now my foundation is already done and I do have a whole video on that and I will link that down below. For the first shade in our crease, I am taking this matte brown shade from my Naked 2 palette and working that into my crease. I chose this color because it does have a purple hint to it. I am being pretty sloppy with this color, but I do want more color concentrated on the outer portion than the inner corner. So I'm doing bigger circles on the outer corner and slowly bringing that to the inner corner. The next shade I am using is this light shimmery pink from my Wet n Wild palette. And I'm tapping that into the inner part of my eye and stopping right about in the middle. Flipping my brush around and using a deeper purple shade, I'm going to be putting that on the outer part of my eye, working that towards the middle part where we had stopped with the more shimmery purple pink shade. Using my Sigma E25 brush, and this is a kind of blue purple shimmery shade, I'm using windshield wiper motions and placing that into my crease. I did choose a real haired brush because it gives a lighter deposit of the eyeshadow on your eye, and I wanted a light wash of this, so when we go in with a deeper purple, it already has a nice blended look to it. Then I'm going in with Real Techniques, um, fluffy brush and I am working that first on the outer part of my eye because that's where we'd like more of the concentrated color doing circular motions there and then slowly bringing it to the inner corner I don't want to take this all the way in I want to concentrate that more on the outer part and that's going to lift our eye up Using that same technique, I'm just going in with more of that color on my brush to deepen it up. Using a flat shader brush, this is the Naked 2 brush that came with the palette. I am placing that on my brow bone and this is a white with an iridescent purple to it. And this is going to highlight our brow bone. For eyeliner, I am using Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Liner and the Soho Angled Brush. I apologize for the angle I filmed this in. It was quite difficult because I have to get so close to the mirror and look down. But I'm starting out at the outer part of my eye and creating that wing. I did do quite a dr dramatic winged liner. I feel like the eyeliner for this makeup look just bumps it up. So here I'm pulling my eye taut and pulling that wing down lower to line my lash line. Here I am just pulling my eye up and lining that top part of our waterline. This makes it so you can't see any flesh color. I did apply lashes using Duo Glue. I am wearing Velour Lashes in Strike a Pose. For concealer, I am using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer and I am first placing that under my eye and down the sides of my nose because I'm using this shade to highlight my face as well. Then I'm going in with my finger and tapping that into my skin. And then I will go in with my Beauty Blender and blend that out further. To set my concealer, I am using Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder and this Real Technique Pointed Foundation Brush. Using this Real Techniques powder brush, I am just tapping that powder to set my foundation. Using this NYX blush in the color Foreplay, I am working that onto my cheeks. I recently bought this blush and I am loving it for the springtime. It gives a nice glow and shimmer to the cheeks. 
It says on the box that it's for blush, highlighting, and bronzer, but I just like it for the blush. It gives off the color that is in the pan, so I don't know how you could use it for contour, but I'm definitely loving this shade. To highlight, I am using this Tarte Girls Night Out palette and taking that bottom highlight shade and placing that on the high points of my cheeks. I also go up and connect it to my brow bone. For my under eyes, I am taking a straight cut brush and blackout from the Naked 2 palette and I am just working that into my lower lash line. I don't bring this all the way to the inner corner, I stop right about the middle of my eye. Going back to that deep purple shade, I am taking a pencil brush and placing that right on top of the black. I am taking this shade though all the way right to where my bottom lash line ends. Then taking that blue purple shimmer shade, I am placing that right underneath and really smoking out the lower lash line. I did apply Anastasia's Noir, which is just a black liner in my waterline. Then going in with mascara, I am using Maybelline's Rocket Volume Mascara. I am placing that on my lower lash line. I did also place that on my upper lashes to blend my real lashes with the false lashes. Using that same highlight shade, I am taking a fluffy brush and placing that on the inner corner of my eye. For lips, I am using Too Faced Lip Injection in the color Bee Sting, and this gives you a nice wash of color without overpowering your face because we have so much color on our eyes. Here is the finished makeup. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments and subscribe for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.